Don't worry, calm has been restored because we're mm. going to be moving on to our guest today who's been stirring up trouble with her stints on Albert Square for the last 25 years. Her most famous storyline saw 22 million people tune into the EastEnders episode as it re was finally revealed who shot Phil Mitchell. So, uh, oh, shot Phil Mitchell, I think. We've got a clip. Let's take a listen. Nice. Oh, I know who did it. What? I saw her. Jamie said you had no idea. I lied. What are you going to do? What do you think I'm going to do? I'm going to sort them out. I am going to sort them out once and for all. Sort of who else? You really want to know? Yeah. You. doesn't get much better than that. It's absolutely brilliant. Um, and after making her return to Albert Square last week, there's certainly more drama in store for Lisa Fowler. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome Lucy Benjamin. <laughs> One back today, I, know, right? I was blushing back then. <laughs> I was like, Brenda. What's it? I mean, I mean, don't, you obviously backstage, you couldn't see the reaction that we all had to watch in that clip. But honestly, even watching it now, yeah. just, just the tension is incredible. What's it like for you watching that? Back? I haven't seen that clip in such a long time. Um, but it brings back such, such brilliant memories because it was such a powerful um, reveal and it was such a brilliantly kept secret at the time. And I think that was the, the success of that yeah. storyline, to be honest. And, I mean, the fact that 22 million people watched it, is, I mean, that just blows your mind now. Yeah, um, you had yeah so, I, yeah, I, quite, I just hate how young I look. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my no, God. Yeah, no. but that shows how long I've been on, I've been on the show, on and off. I know. Years. So, what's it like being back this time? I love it. I oh. love every minute of it. I, getting to work with old friends um, and colleagues, and every time I go back, I get given the most amazing storylines. So, yeah. yeah, I just... It's, it's, it's kind of like going home. Like, it, yeah, it does sound like a cliche, but yeah. yes, it is, and it's, it kind of takes away all those kind of first day of nerves on any other new job, and you just, it just feels like you've not, you've not been away, and yeah. the time just goes so quickly. But... Um, yeah, I'm just so grateful that they give me such brilliant things to do. Yeah, and you're you're back because yeah. uh, you're after some money because yeah. your character has developed a gambling addiction, which is a really powerful yeah. storyline to to have, especially when it comes to to a woman. Because I think there's like a million women in the UK who are harmed by gambling addiction. Yeah. It's important to yeah, get yeah. that that across. Well, I, mean, I think that's what's so brilliant about soaps, really. They um, they really invest in, in in some of these in in really important storylines that people can relate to, and I think you know <clears throat> soaps are capable of changing people's lives because they sit in they sit at home and they watch that you know the, these episodes are on four or five times a week, and and they can relate to it, and I think it's really important to tell these stories, and I think we have a responsibility to to do it well, yeah. um, and we always make sure that we we do our research and uh, you know we cover we cover the stories properly. Um, and, and we always make sure that the scripts are kind of then cleared by, you know, Gamble Aware that, that did a lot of research with us um, for this particular storyline. And I actually had a friend, um, he was a male friend, he's a male friend, not was, he's still alive. I've got a male friend who basically, um, he, he had a terrible gambling addiction to fruit machines, which you've seen Lisa yeah. actually do. Um, and I just, I kind of couldn't understand it. I, I kind of didn't believe it when I got the script, so it was good to kind of talk to him. And he just said, you know, it becomes less about the money almost. For him, it was the draw of the lights. Mm. I mean, it becomes... It's so layered wow. in terms mm, of what people are addicted yeah. to. And can you believe you can actually tap a card? Yeah. Now, for, yeah. which I found that unbelievable because, it, you I know, in the VIG, and I, I went... I said, How, where's, where do I put the notes in? They gave me these notes and, and they said, oh, you don't actually need notes, you just tap your card. Yeah. And oh. that's terrifying. Yeah, mm. that is. That is terrifying. Yeah. Because it's, like, they... it's not real then, is it? You yeah. don't know how much no. you're spending. You don't see them but there are, you know, they yeah. sort of have said that there are um, things in place on those fruit machines to make sure that, you know, you don't go too far with that. Mm. And also when they are in places like betting shops, the bet those who are in the betting shops yeah. do also have to keep an eye on what it is yeah. that, that, that you're doing. Yeah. But yeah, the, the ease of it yeah. is definitely more so yeah. than it used to be. Yeah. Um, let, Let's take a look what happens with the character tonight. Let's take okay. a look. Jumping bail. Oh, do me a favour, Sharon. You all know by now who stole the money. Did you mention my name, Lisa? No. I'm not a grass. Where's my money? The police kept it. You'll have to get it off them. Do you know what? I've had it with you lot. I did you all a favour by bringing Peggy here for a visit and all you've done is have me banged up. I just want to take Peggy back to Portugal. To Louise. Yes. Oh. oh! And it's, um, it's 
so lovely to see you there with the older characters, yeah. the original characters yeah. and all of that. Do you think... Because that's happening quite a lot, isn't it? They're, they're starting to bring people from the past back in. Yeah. Because it's almost like nostalgia, isn't it? Well, I think, I think so. that's what they're going for with viewers. And I think Chris Clenshaw, the executive producer, is such a fan of the show and he's, mm. he's kind of grown with the show over, over a number of years. And I think yeah, he does like to bring to mix the old and the new. Mm, and I yeah. think the show's in such a good place yeah. at the moment. You know, it did win Best Soap at the, mm. the Soap Awards. And I think... I think the formula's working, so and yeah. I'm just delighted he's brought me back for a bit. <laughs> yeah. So, I, I mean, I've known you for a long time and your acting is fantastic, but oh, it's not just you. about EastEnders. And I think people kind of feel like sometimes with, with, with actors that if you're not in the soap or on the soap, what are you doing now? Yeah. What's your next job? So, like, but you've been busy in between all of that. Fill us yeah. in on some of the gaps. Well, yeah, I mean, it, no, just going back to what you were saying, it's so funny, cos when people don't see you on their television on EastEnders or a soap four times a year, a week, sorry, they'll, they'll say, have you given up acting? And then <laughs> and you feel like you have to justify yourself and say, no, I'm promising you're really off your CV, and then you feel like a bit of a big head. And, you know, so, um, no, I've had some lovely things to do. I've been doing a lot of theatre. So I was at the RSC last year. I did wow. a season there. And I did a play at Christmas time at Southwark Playhouse, and Fabulous. I've got a film that I'm doing next, um, an independent movie. So, so uh, yeah, so it's just lovely. So that's yeah. what's so nice about... The way they write me back in and out of his standards, yeah. I kind of feel I have the best of both worlds. Yeah. So I get to do fabulous storylines, and then I get to leave and then go and do other little bits and bobs. So, well, I just yeah. want to ask you: you survived Phil Mitchell. Do you think you survive on a desert island? We were talking about that. Oh, earlier. I would be dead within a day. <laughs> 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 I'd, be very, I'd like then just want to be as brown as possible <laughs> and then I'd die being a crisp or something. Like, catch nothing. But we always advocate sunbathing oh, safely. Yeah. Of course. Of course. Um, well, honestly, you thank you so much for coming in. Round of applause. There we go. Oh, such a pleasure to meet you, Lisa.